this truck in Southern Mountain. What the fuck is this guy doing? He's so gonna fucking hit. Wake up, man! Wake up! What the hell are you doing? Holy shit, man. Sorry. Rough night. The wife kicked me out. But today, I got this sweet fucking horse right here. I'm gonna teach you, show you a couple things about it. Why well, you need to get yourself one of these. So, you know, you see this fucking door right here? You got a nice trim. Trim stops. That's American right there. This door, you gotta give it a couple little fucking kickaroos to shut it. She shuts like a fucking dream. That's why you want her, you know? You need that American backbone. We don't got just sissies coming. Watch this. Oh, it's not shutting right. Fucking shut, son. That's how it's done. I'm gonna show you a couple things inside the cab why you want to get one of these. So I can tell you one thing they did about 94 hour change. The motherfucker does not stop beeping if this door is open. So we won't shut it just for you guys. Because we care. And that's what we do around here. Alright, so you know, we're out here in Alaska, so it might not look too fucking bright. Don't matter. It'll be alright. This dome light don't work. Actually, I mean, kind of, no, it don't work. I don't know. Alright, man. So, see this right here? It's a good old American Ford key. Now we got, believe it or not, this is an F-150. Some would normally just plug it right in. And they go about their business. Not in this cowboy truck, son. So you don't lose your keys. Just keep it in your pocket once you unlock this son of a bitch. And then you just do one of these. Oh shit, she's throwing up like nothing. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people that drive stick shift, they'll tell you, leave it in gear or leave the parking brake on. We want our cowboy truck to last us as long as possible. I just put it in neutral everywhere I go. We started the video off, we were kicking this bitch, she didn't move because I told her to sit. Works every time. So, you got this on the ground, 4x4, four four. you see how it just engaged? The only thing automatic in here because I already locked the hub, so I just keep it locked, I don't care. That thing works like a dream, this works like a dream. Oh, y'all probably wondering, you guys are probably wondering what's up with that windshield that's a damn Alaskan windshield son you can look it up or I can just tell you what it means they gravel the roads out here in Alaska because I guess salt's too expensive for people gravel's on the road it kicks up shatters out your windshield it looks pretty hard though so I keep it um right here we got a sick guy before me, this guy was a real fucking cowboy, he said, fuck the normal head unit, he said, we'll put an aftermarket one in there, when you think aftermarket, you think aux cord, bluetooth, even a CD drive, he said, fuck it, I just want my cassette, so, wasted money on the aftermarket, all I got is a cassette, but we can still bump the Leonard Skinner in this hoe, so, we're all good with that, and, uh, She's a five-speed, everything's manual. Crank these windows, they're manual. If you're into smoking cigarettes and it's fucking cold out, you just crack this guy and kind of block some wind, but you can still not like kill your kids if they're in the in the car with you and you're smoking cigarettes like a fucking train. Um This thing, wait, does it is it gonna do it? When I used to open and shut it, it used to spark all over the ground. Shit was wild. And then uh, I think that's what caused the cigarette later to stop working. But it's okay, you don't need that shit if you're a cowboy. Um, and let's show you a couple things around the truck. Pop the fucking hood on this thing. It's pretty fucking hard because you can't be a pussy in on one of these. I think it's kind of pop. We'll check. So I had my legal team of uh, chimpanzees come out here and help me with the fucking hood. We got it open. Now, first thing you might think, if you ain't from Alaska, what's this motherfucking thing doing right here? Well, this thing is actually a uh, Eco Boost. Yeah, it's an Eco Boost. I just plug it in at night. It's like no. winterizer. It's in Alaska. You gotta pay more money to live in a state that you gotta pay more money to live in. So, you gotta get a winterizer. 
must be here. Very loud, because you know, 5.0. And this is what they got in the Mustang. A couple things to see when you look in here. Got this big battery, keeps all my shit charged. We got ourselves stock air filter box. That's hard as fuck to need that on a cowboy truck. And if you can hear this motherfucking fan, it's not the one that comes with the truck. It's fucking red and gray. Came with the truck, it's loud as shit, but must be doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Let's take you around the truck some more. Now let's break break some features you get on this nice 94. Why you might want to buy it. These right here, they're locking hubs. For any of you sons of bitches that aren't really good at reading, or really good at anything, it's locked, it's free. Now, when it's on the free, it's in two wheel drive and it ain't gonna lock. And when it's on the lock, the hubs are locked, ready to engage a four wheel drive. But just keep it like that in the winter time, so uh, I can just engage four wheel drive whenever I gotta pull out, you know. Other fucking 2017 nine cowboy trucks when they get in the ditch. Right here, this is a sexy thing. It still has the same siding on it, right? That came from the factory. And then I guess whoever before me said, fuck that shit, took it off the door, did like a little half ass job. It's whatever, it was kind of cool. Said, fuck it, I'll leave it on there. Now, I'm from Florida, and we're out here in Alaska, and I'm starting to think there's some kind of law or some kind of rule about mud flaps. Every vehicle has fucking mud flaps up here. You don't see that anymore. What I think this guy had the mud flaps for, you see, all this ice that builds up, the guy before me must have, uh, he, he must have not liked, like to take his kids out to the Bahama Chucks or wherever the fuck that place is, serves the ices. So he just let it build up on a good days of work, scoop this shit off, Throw a little syrup on there and give it to his kid at night. That's what I'm thinking that's for. That could just be a guess. These right here, they aren't tow mirrors. These are just old mirrors, you know, because I don't need to prove myself and get tow mirrors. I just tow them with these. I tow them with horses, all the, all the cool shit, you know, all the shit we do in Alaska. Now right here, oh fuck, I can't, can't skip this. This right here, gets you. At well, least another 20 horsepower. Actually, probably 50. You know how uh, racers like to put spoilers on the back of their cars? This shit stays here. Actually, in all honesty, it's pretty good because, you know, ice builds up on the windshield and shit. This thing keeps it to where my lazy ass only has to take this much ice. There's no ice that builds up here because this son of a bitch, this ball cap rim, keeps me off protected and shit. So we got these in the back. For all you sons of bitches that don't know much about trucks, you don't gotta lock the hubs in the back. Because <laughs> it's two-wheel drive and that's what the differential is and that's always in two-wheel drive. So there is no lock and hub back. Um, came with this sick ass fucking headache rack. Looks like the guy before me probably welded that shit. Just, you know, he's a cowboy probably. Got one light out. I was told there was one light out. I said, fuck it. You don't need two of them. They know it's running, they can hear it. Oh, that sticker. Sick ass exhaust. This thing. We want this thing to be loud. Maybe in the summertime we'll just say fuck it. You know, leave it in the comments. Should I just cut the exhaust off and make this thing fucking chirp? Cut it before the cats, because catalytic converters are soft. I want to suck up as much emissions as I can when I'm outside this bitch. Right here, best part of the truck. Tailgate, black. Don't mess the truck. Big things are coming to that if y'all stick around. We might get to see that in the summertime. Can't really do shit in the winter. I ain't gonna give away too much, but it's pretty sick too. Snow builds up. They don't got snow before. This shit builds up. You can't even read my clean. That means I can run red lights. I can run red lights and won't know my tag. So that's pretty cool. They got that shit cool. The bug is getting cool out here, man. I mean it's getting I mean it's getting hot, man. Fuck, I'm sweating. Cowboys don't get cold. So right here, here's some more snow if y'all haven't ever seen snow. Um, 
I use this for just hauling shit, you know, trash right here. Hit me up if you got a Jeep, right? Fuck, I don't want to touch it. Ain't cold, ain't cold, ain't cold, man. Right here, you can tell there's two Jeep tires under there. So if y'all got Jeeps and you want to wanna buy them off me, I'll send them up to you. We also got some sandbags in here just for the shits. And, uh, oh shit, got you another thing right here. Good old American rust. Some people would be afraid to buy a truck that had rust. Jump right into it. That's that ain't called rust, man. That's called patina. That's old American fucking patina right here. Pretty sick. This thing, normally people got uh, a gas cap. It's been a nice, it gets a hang. This thing's free flowing. So then when you take it off, when you gotta pump this on, bitch, put wherever you want. I usually just throw it in the bed. Then I get to play a nice game of fucking hide and go seek and try to find it in the snow. Oh shit, there it is. I win every time. Just put that back on there. Now this thing, it ain't like the doors. It ain't like the doors for sure. This one, if you want, if you're feeling a little soft during the day, give it a nice shut and it'll shut fine. You don't need to slam it like a man. You can feel like a woman for once if you want. You can even have your wife shut that if you want. Sometimes, your wife shouldn't be shutting the doors because you better be a chivalry guy come around there and kick that son of a bitch shut. Like I showed you. So, take it for a ride, maybe show you a couple things, Alaska. Um, oh, there's another thing. The guy was looking at my truck and he was telling me, he's like, man, it's low on cooling. You know, you gotta, you gotta fill it up low on cooling. I said, yeah, I'll probably fill it up. Walked away, fuck no, I ain't filling that thing up with cooling. Alaska, bro. It gets negative out here. I ain't worried about this motherfucking block cracking because it's overheating. It ain't gonna overheat. This thing runs cold. So, uh, we'll, we'll jump in the truck. We'll go for a little cruise. I'll teach you a couple things about a stick, maybe. Learn a couple things on this video. We're in here. We're in neutral. We're just chilling. She's sitting, like I told you. So, we'll break down a couple things, man. We got the sticker here, sticker here. That's how a cowboy does it. You got a fucking rack right there. You can't see it from the outside. Fuck it. I'll put them on the inside. I'm going to fill this bitch up with some stickers. Y'all, you know, if you guys want to send me some stickers, if you ever gave a fuck, maybe I'll put them on there. You can see your sticker on the next video. But we'll break it down. So this is manual. This is on bitch's manual. You already knew this. Lights ain't. Thought the lights were automatic. Manual. Everything manual in this thing. But I'll tell you one thing. This motherfucker is hot. She's nice and toasty in here when she needs to be. So I'm gonna teach you a couple things how a cowboy does it. You know, got these cup holders. These, these trucks didn't come with cup holders unless you, you were soft. You didn't want a cowboy truck, you got an automatic. Sometimes they come with little cup holders down there. Fuck no, a manual. We live the cowboy life. Cowboys drive manual. So you got your cup holder there, there's one there. Looks the exact same. Then we got all these air fresheners when you got the you got the ladies in here. Air fresher, air fresher, air fresher. Fucking, there's one down here, man. It's smelling good in here. Smell, if you can smell this shit through the YouTube video, you'd be freaking going bonkers so the normal pattern right here 5-0 things about like it's like a mustang basically with the bed you got first second we started second cowboy started second first gear no so we'll go for a little cruise we started in second because we want to think that we're in a in a cummins and the first one's just for towing um going down this mountain dude oh shoot she's gaining some speed That's like a, a thousand home horses. All right, so we had a little technical difficulty. I guess my iPhone uh, didn't have that much storage. So she had to cut right in the middle of uh, beating on this horse. I guess it was better so you guys uh, wouldn't see any animal cruelty because this cowboy truck's got some duds. Um, we're just cruising around in it, you know. This is just how Alaska life is. The fan's really loud. Um, all the all the hoochie mamas around here know the cowboy truck. When I'm rolling in the parking lot, just to give a little rev out. They give me a little look, but you know I'm loyal to my old lady, so I don't I don't give them a look back. Um, she likes to get sideways sometimes. And you gotta you gotta beat on the gears of these. See there, she caught she caught traction. All right, 
y'all think you'd be, a, you'd be a little nervous if you did shit like that. But when you get a cowboy truck, you can just chill with it. So I'm gonna give you another little feature about the interior. When you got a cowboy truck, you live a better life. You can do whatever you want. You don't care. You have a great time all the time. You see um, on the steering wheel, there's a little bit of a stain right here. You probably can't see it on the video, but I'll tell you, there's a little stain right there from ash and a blackout on that. It's a cowboy truck. You can do whatever you want. You get to live your life how you want. There's a uh, there's a little little fucking thing that comes up. To me, it looks like a guy laying on a pillow on a steering wheel. I don't know what it means, but when I read this dash while I'm driving, it says something about don't worry about your airbag or something like that. Don't worry about your airbag, and if a light comes up for it, then maybe bring it to the dealership. I haven't seen a light for the airbag, but there's a there's a light that pops up on the dash every once in a while of a dude sleeping in the truck with a pillow on the steering wheel. Whatever the fuck that means. It'll be all right though, everything buffs out in the end. <clears throat> That's just, you know, hopefully you guys like, like this cowboy truck, hopefully you like the video. If you didn't, well, you know, go fuck me, right? It's whatever. But if you did, you can subscribe, you can like it, you can share it, you can share it. Same shit just happened. Fucking, I don't know how the storage or anything's working on my iPhone, but I'm gonna break it down real quick for you. You can share it, you can show your mom, dad, grandpa, sister, grandma, anything. You can share it to everybody, have everybody watch it. If not, you liked it, Subscribe, leave a comment. Maybe I'll make another one. Maybe I'll make more videos of the truck. I gotta figure this out with storage because we're running out of it and uh, we're running out of time on this video. So, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, this has been the channel, Reef Donkeys. Maybe you'll learn my name one day, but I'll catch you in the next one, old son.